All right. Thank you for tuning in to TTV. Today, I'm your host, Toya. And today I'm going to bring to you and talk about an herb that you played with when you were a child. And you would not believe the amazing benefits that it can give to your whole entire body. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So stay tuned so you can find out what herb it is that I'm talking about. I'll be right back. All right, again, thank you for tuning in to TTV. I'm your host, Toya. Um, today is Wednesday, October 27, 2021. It is currently 10, 12 p.m. I know I'm recording this a little late, um, but I got caught up in some other things that I'm trying to get together. But I did want to come to you today and discuss a herb, like I said, that is good for your whole entire body, okay? Your whole entire body. It has more beta carotene than carrots, it can help with gastric issues. It can help with um, wounds, like help your wounds clear, um, heal up easy and help with ringworm and clean your cl clean your liver and be a bladder and just help with PMS. Um, like I said, it helps with stomach and joint issues. It cleanses organs. Um, it's like so much it has to do that I actually had to write notes on this, okay? So it's an excellent source of vitamin A, potassium, and iron. And because it's so high in iron, it helps with anemia, okay? But again, with this, just, just so y'all can't say what well, Toya said, check with your doctor before you take this because there are some instances where it can um, interact with your medications. But if you're wondering what herb it is that I'm talking about, take a guess. I'm going to give you a clue. So when you were a kid, during the spring, you know, right when things start to grow, it was this plant that you would take and it had this little ball on it and you would blow it. And all these seeds would spread out everywhere. Yes, I am talking about dandelion. And you can actually use the whole plant. You can use the flower, the stem, the root, the leaves. Um, I would actually have to say, like most people who know me know my favorite herb is cayenne pepper. Dandelion is probably my second favorite. Um, and it's one that is readily accessible. So like I get mine, it's a chain grocery store here in Michigan called Myers. So I can go there and get it at Myers. You can get it at Whole Foods. You can get it at Kroger. You can get it at, I'm sure Publix, if you, you know, Southern, I'm sure Publix has it. Um, but anyway, you get the picture. It's readily available. Now, before you go digging it up in your backyard, though, <laughs> you have to be careful because if you spray pesticides and lawn care and weed killer and all that stuff on your lawn, you don't want to use what's in your yard or in your neighbor's yard. Now, I know it sounds a little gross, but if you got animals that pee on it, well, that you can at least clean and wash off. But when it comes down to those pesticides and those chemicals that get put in the lawn, you don't want to eat that. You don't want to consume it for that. So this is a bag, my latest bag that I got of dandelion leaf. And it comes in a big bunch. As you can see, this is a dandelion leaf. Um, and this is what I usually get because, again, it's readily available. It's something you can even give to your pet. Sadie. Because I give it to her all the time. She loves it. Um, but yeah, you can just take this. And the way I use it, I'll blend it up in a green drink. I'll put it in my smoothies. There are capsules that you can get um, where you can take the dandelion root um, in a capsule form. Um, you, there's teas, dandelion root teas. If it is in the summer or in the springtime and you are able to dig it up in your yard, that you can pull it up out of your yard because your grass and stuff is clean and pesticide chemical free, then you can use the root. Um, again, you can put that in your smoothies and tea. It does have a very bitter taste though, so I will warn you of that. Um, the stem, the milk sap that's in the skin, in the stem, I don't know if you've ever paid attention when you were a kid, it's this white creamy stuff that's actually in the stem of the dandelion leaf. And that's something you can take out, you can rub on an itchy spot, you can rub on a ringworm, like it's so much you can do with this plant. Um, the leaves, again, like I said, that's what I get. I put it in my smoothies, I put it in uh, my green drink. And that's why I really like to have it on hand because I really use it for my green drink, which really just consists of the juice of half a lemon, 
I throw however much I feel like putting dandelion leaf in it. And then I might use romaine or butter leaf or kale or some other green vegetable, like whatever I eat else it is that I have in the refrigerator. I'll pick one more and I'll blend the three of those up with some distilled water and I drink it. And it's, it's good for you because you get that extra chlorophyll, which is what your body needs. Um, I heard somebody say, I think it was... Um, Dick Gregory that said that chlorophyll, it may not have been him, but somebody said that the chlorophyll is a natural deodorant. So it actually helps to deodorize. So when you take it in a green drink like that, it cleans your body out. So you get the benefits from the whole plant because you're drinking the whole thing, but you also get the extra benefit of so much chlorophyll in one shot. And it gives you a boost of energy, helps clean you out. So you do want to be careful with dandelion leaf if you are on blood pressure medication or a diuretic or something like that because it is high in potassium um, and because of it, it does have diuretic properties, which means it's going to pull fluid out of your system. So you will have to pee. So you do want to be careful if you're on a diuretic or if you're taking blood pressure medications for those reasons. Um, another thing you want to look out for too is, is if you are taking antibiotics. You want to be careful with that too, because in some cases it can um, it can minimize the effectiveness of your antibiotics. Um, and I think oh, and in some issues with the stomach, and I can help with some of your gastric issues and clean help to clean out your bowels. But if you have gallstones or you have ulcer pain, something like that, you want to like don't don't use it, don't use it, <laughs> okay? Because it it the because it increases the acidity in your stomach, it can cause issues with those conditions. So you do want to be careful with that. Um, but overall, like I said, this is my second favorite because, again, it does so much for your body. It is readily available, again, as long as you're not putting chemicals and stuff on your yard, okay? <clears throat> I know me, myself, I can't help it because I have cats and stuff in my area, um, that are strays and they drop a lot of fleas and ticks. And so to keep it off of my dogs, I have to spray my yard. So unfortunately, I can't do it. But like I said, in some areas, like I know in Detroit, there's a lot of areas and people live close to like abandoned houses that were vacant houses. And if you see it growing in their yard, you know, ain't nobody spraying nothing over there. Go and get yourself. OK, I don't find some herbs. <laughs> like here's an empty lot next to my mama house and I don't find some stuff over there. And I was like, ooh, is this? Ooh, OK, let me go and pick this because I know ain't nobody spraying nothing over there. So just keep in mind, you know, be open to it. But anyway, like I said, this is dandelion. Um, it is a wonderful, beautiful herb. It can, like I said, it has more beta carotene than your carrots. It's high in your vitamins like A and iron and potassium. And it just does so much for your body. So if you can include this, like I said, you can take it as a tea. You can buy the leaves like I do. However you get it in, get it in. Your, your body will benefit from it, I promise you. So that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the information. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share this information because people need to know this. That's why I do these videos because people need to know this. So I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day tomorrow. I hope you sleep well tonight and you just have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful week. All right, love you guys. And I'll talk to you guys on Sunday when I do the book review. All right, good night. <laughs>